Well, allegations of pandemic profiteering and consumer complaints about price gouging appear to be everywhere right now. In tonight's CARE 11 investigation, we look into a viewer tip and discover inflated prices sometimes are not what they seem and may actually start higher up than your local store. Here's investigative reporter AJ Legault. So we got a tip that this gas station across the street is price gouging on hand wipes. We're gonna go in and find out. Clorox wipes or masks or anything? We got the mask right here. The three dollars each? Yeah. Do you think that's price gouging? I don't know about the masks. Because I've never seen them anywhere. You don't know what they normally sell for I each? We got a clue. We don't ever carry them except now. To answer our own question, we looked online. CVS sold boxes of 50 for $12.49, but they are out of stock. On Amazon, we found them in stock and selling for $31.99. To compare, in order to buy the whole box here at the gas station, it would cost $150. How much are the hand sanitizers? These are what, $3.99, and then this one's $10.99. $10.99. We found the same brand and size sold a Cub for $1.99. This sure looked like price gouging. But when we got the manager on the phone last week... You're making about 90 cents a mask. He said he wasn't price gouging his customers. The inflated prices start higher up the food chain. That box of face masks, again, was that was $87. To prove his point, he sent CARE 11 invoices from his supplier showing he paid $1.75 per mask. 8750 for the whole box. That makes his profit $1.25 per mask, with similar tight markups on the sanitizer. The gas station operator, through his attorney, wrote he believes the business has been and remains compliant with the governor's executive order banning price gouging during the state of emergency. The problem is dramatic, precipitous increases. Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison's office tells CARE 11 as of April 1st, they've received more than 600 price gouging complaints and issued more than 20 warning letters. What are you hearing from some of these retailers who might be saying, look, I'm uh, this is what I'm having to pay for my supplier. They've jacked the prices up 500%. Well, we, let me tell you, that's not what we're hearing. You know, but if that's a defense, we want to hear it. We wanted to know, was the supplier price gouging the gas station. American General Merchandise of Shoreview is the supplier listed on the face mask invoice. It's located in this building with no signage. We asked how much they paid for the masks. The CEO, Abu Bakar Mekrami, would not talk with us on camera, but said, we didn't do anything illegal. We're not going to share any information with you because we don't want to damage our relationship with our suppliers. Lesson learned. When it comes to price increases during the pandemic, it can be tough to tell where the buck really stops. For CARE 11 Investigates, I'm AJ Legault. If you see a scam or become the victim of one, just text the word scams to 763-797-7215. We will send you back a link to report it, then our investigative team will look into it.